Hello and welcome back to On Point Wargaming. Um, I thought I'd make a, a relatively short video about how I base my figures for games of bolt action. I get asked quite a lot why I base my figures the way I do, specifically, specifically the manner in which they're based. Now, it's safe to say I'm not a competitive player by any stretch of the imagination. I would much rather my opponent and I have fun, have a good entertaining game, and develop a good narrative or backstory with two painted armies. In my opinion, that's much more rewarding than pummeling your opponents into the ground, or getting all stroppy when the dice gods aren't on your side, or your meticulous tactical plan hasn't worked. I guess this lack of competitive edge drives how I base my figures. More so with the HE templates brought in with version 2 of Bolt Action. Okay, individually basing your crew or team members may be tactically astute in that not so many will get pulverised in coming fire, but I would much prefer that the team or crew looks good or interesting, aside from any tactical or in-game consideration. This is why I base all of my two-man teams and artillery pieces on one base. Sure, it may lead to instant annihilation on the bad end of a HE shell, but to quote Captain Mannering, this is war Godfrey. So, I'm going to quickly run through my basing theory. For small, two-man teams such as Flamethrower, Sniper, Anti-Tank and 2-inch Mortar teams, I will mainly use either a 50mm MDF base, the oblong plastic base from Warlord Games, or one of these 50mm um, plastic bases that are used with War Machine. I find these are an ideal size for two-man teams and have very little impact on, on gameplay. For me, and more importantly, they allow me to extend the basing theme from my infantry and add a few bits and pieces to create a mini diorama. An example of this was creating battered bricks from cork to build a broken wall for my Faust from Jaeger sniper team. Uh, I'm going to include a selection of photographs at the end of the video uh, to show you some of my base teams and, and, and how these work. So next up is medium machine gun, mortar and forward observation teams. I always use a standard 60mm uh, plastic base um, from Warlord Games um, for these teams. These are a great size um, and again will not have any detrimental impact on gaming but allows you to, to again create more elaborate dioramas with tufts, rocks and foliage etc. Now the next one is the most contentious, artillery, uh, field guns etc. These will often have upwards of three crew. Now from a gaming perspective, you'll want to keep your crew alive as long as possible to avoid these negative modifiers, especially when they're being pinned down by a pesky mortar. Basing your crew individually will allow you to position them around the gun to minimise casualties. However, all I see is it's an opportunity to really go to town with all my basing bits and pieces. My Faustum Jaeger Pack 40, for example, has destroyed walls made from cork, uh, burned and broken timbers made from balsa wood, and with tufts and, and, and crew weapons scattered about to give it a bit of a, a bit of a story, a bit of a more lived in look. To base these pieces, I, I use MDF bases, mainly uh, 50 mil uh, by 100 mil, or these really quite large 100 by 100 mil pieces. Uh, these sizes provide great scope and opportunity uh, to really come up with some intricate and themed basing. You'll see from the photographs that I, I base my vehicles to, uh, both tank and transport, this has no game in-game benefit whatsoever and is simply a personal choice to provide the vehicle with a bit more sturdiness and again to be able to create some great looking bases that tie my armies together. Well, I hope this short video gives you some ideas for basing your own teams and artillery pieces for your games of bolt action. As always, if you have any questions or comments, just pop them in the comments section below. And please like and subscribe to see more of my inane gaming ramblings. Until next time though, as always, take care, may your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.